Mass gang, Guala, gang shit, coming straight out of Ben Hog. Shit, honestly, I've been rapping since I was like probably 13. I started rapping when I was locked up and shit, you know, in the room, bored as hell. Shit, I really ain't take that shit serious though, you feel me? But everybody used to tell a nigga though, nigga was straight though, nigga was decent, you feel me? But other than that, shit, been rapping shit really my whole life, shit. Honestly, Wayne, Gucci, like Wayne and Gucci. It really was like, motherfucker had some money at the time, so it was like, what the fuck we gonna do with it? Right. A lot of people been buying it and everything, yeah, too. Yeah, most definitely. They support it. Most definitely. That's what's yeah. up. Right now, I'm working on some shit, man. I'm cooking up some shit right now. I'm working on the second mixtape. But right now, I don't know what I'm gonna call it, though. It's just a process right now, though. Honestly, downside rappers. Uh, whoever gonna fuck with me uh, my squad you feel me that's just how I look at it yeah most definitely we always we always working on something though they ain't really just solely about music you feel me this shit yeah. really about some everything like you know family life you know type shit so we always working on some shit shit mass game really came from shit me and my brother we was we was Dug off in the bed selling dope, you feel me? And it was just like we only came out at night to sell dope. It, it really wasn't no morning traffic move and shit like that, you feel me? Because it was so fucked up in the bed. But that's where that shit really came from, though. Shit, honestly, man, R.I.P. Guala, man. Boogie, man, that was like, you feel me? One of my childhood friends. You know, when I had, he died, and the day he died, I had got, I had got locked up and shit, you feel me? Shit. That's really like when I start writing music, like really trying to do that shit, you feel me? And I just started calling myself Mass Gang Guali, you feel me? Honestly, man, it's fucked up, but I, I feel like it's life. Like shit like that it's supposed to happen. Like, but you got certain cities that's dangerous dangerous than others. So it'd be like I don't know, man. It's fucked up though, you know? Yeah. Shit, shit happens, you feel me? Yeah, it will. You should be trapping. It got worse. No. We were fighting back then. We weren't really, you know, shooting motherfuckers and doing all this, you feel me? It was more so, bitch, get out here and fight. <laughs> you should be trapping. Honestly, man, I want to put like a couple restaurants and like something, something for motherfuckers to do. But when you go to other cities or when I go to other cities, I know shit, it'd be a lot to do compared to shit, this bullshit. So like, if I make it out, I want like restaurants and shit like that, you feel me? And just put something in the city for motherfuckers to do, you feel me? Hey. Spell from that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ain't graduated from there? No, no. Okay. Baby J. Oh yeah, honestly I got yeah, I got a lot of family members there, right? A lot. Um, shout out Quay Quay, shout out Lil Boo, you feel me? Uh, shout out the whole GBE fan. Um, I got a lot of motherfuckers though in my family that rap, man. I'm just so motherfucking high, I can't even think about this shit, man. <laughs> We definitely doing our thing though. It's a blessing though. You know? A little bit, but you know, I don't really do it. I like writing. Feel like I can make the song better, sauce it up. It's a good craft to have though, cause on the spot, put a motherfucker on the spot. You know, that show your talent a little bit more. So. Say, bitches be lying, niggas ain't real, these niggas be trying. Nah, no, once your bitch leave you, everybody get the crime. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I, I don't know yeah, because yeah, I ain't yeah, been yeah. writing shit. I ain't gonna right. lie. 
I write when I go in the booth. Like when I just went in the booth, I wrote some shit. Well, you know about like what, like an hour or two ago. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, and I forgot that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell. I'm, I'm rapping. I'm, I'm rapping. But yeah, I don't really freestyle though. No okay. cap. What really kept me motivated? Shit. I feel like I knew that's all I really had. Like, that's my backbone. Like, this is the only thing that's gonna get me, my family, and the motherfuckers that's around me out the hood, like, quicker than anything, you know? Like they say, all oh, black people wanna be sports players and rappers. Shit, I really shit on some real shit. I feel like that's the, that's the, that's the goal for us right now, shit. So that's what really kept me motivated and shit, my team, you know what I'm saying? I gotta, Got a hell of a team behind me. You know, Harvey Gang, Mass Gang, you know. You know how we do this shit. Big step. Hell yeah. I think so, though, because we could have been going city to city promoting shit differently. We could have been booking shows on our type of shit. You feel me? So, that, it just, it really fucked up the network process. Y'all can follow me at Instagram, Mass Gang underscore Guala 600. And you can find me on Facebook at Kiwan, K E J U A N B M G Guala. Uh, any shout out you want to get to anybody before you go? Yeah, shout out, um, <laughs> shout out Shot Boy. You feel me? That's my nigga, bro. With on my life, shout out Shot Boy, man. Shout out all the motherfuckers that's really trying to do something for the city, man. Shout out my brother Young. You feel me? Shout out shit, baby J can't make it. Shout out the whole Mass gang. Shout out the whole Harvard gang. You feel me? Shout out to all the real niggas, man. Okay, for real, man.